Hello. Today I would like to show you the megalithic polygonal walls of Cosa in Ancedonia, Italy, which are a fine example of the so-called Cyclopean masonry. They are built, of course, by a known civilization or culture. I'm saying of course because in my previous videos I've been showing that even the cultures and civilizations which we consider to be known are actually unknown. But it seems that it was a worldwide culture or civilization after all, because uh, Cyclopean style masonry is found not only in Eurasia, like for example at many places in Turkey, Daurson and others in Bosnia, Recently, they also found uh, this wall near Zlatograd in Bulgaria. Certain castles of Japan are also made using this uh, polygonal cyclopean way of placing stones. And of course, well-known places as Egypt, Peru and the Khmer megaliths of Cambodia. <laughs> elegant lines of the coast near Cosa, where the modern Italian town of Orbitello lies, are also massive ancient terra formations. This is how it looks like from ground level. I knew since a couple of years that large portions of the coastal line are actually intelligently shaped, but it wasn't in the foreground of my research and attention. But when um, it came to my knowledge that other people have also been researching and doubting, even from geological point of view, that the coastal line is natural, at least those elegant segments that I've been showing you, then I felt it is time to go in this direction and by the time I publish this video I will be in Italy again and these artificial large-scale terraformations are the most interesting for me at this point and it's not just the coastal line as such it's uh, an entire complex also including countless man-made or at least intelligently made channels and uh, countless lakes some of which pretty huge all interconnected So tell us what happened when the penguins tried to repair the walls in Amelina. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Ten years about studying uh, how to find a way to solve this. And they made a huge uh, roof, metal roof, to preserve that vein. Uh, they numbered all of them. They studied, they studied, they studied. And then finally, they made a cast of concrete 
with this stone mixed, mixed. not out of no, the not in the even with the the, the, flat, oh. the flat surface uh, <laughs> they couldn't even <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Another interesting uh, thing that we encountered in Kosom was a case when the stones of the polygonal cyclopean masonry as if are glued together. As if two stones next to each other have become one, like here the small triangular piece in the middle. This is not the only case. Other people have been noticing uh, such situations elsewhere in Italy and also in Peru. I've seen videos about people being puzzled by this. So when I was there at the spot, it just looked very strange. This, uh, the stones, like two stones have become one. How, how is that? But after that, I went to Jordan and uh, I learned a lot about living and growing stones again. I wasn't again looking particularly for anything of that sort, but just things come along. One discovery leads to another. And I think the explanation, at least for such cases in Italy, is that these were separate stones, but because the stones are something like living organisms, they simply merged as they were growing. Now, I'm not sure if that's the case with the similar uh, places in Peru. Over there, they might, might have been still uh, somewhat soft if they were cast, and maybe that's why they got merged and united. But um, I don't think these stones were cast of the Cyclopean masonry in Italy. And I think the most likely explanation is that they merged as they were growing. More about this in my next video about living and growing stones. <laughs>